siwe. Now to change the gear is not easy because we had already engaged the gear for intercessory. But I'll try. <laughs> Hallelujah. I am sure that I am not known to everybody. I have a neighbor who thinks everybody knows him. So to kienda kila pahari anasema simu nanijua. <laughs> Sasa na mimi simu nanijua. <laughs> I am called Pastor Deuri Wangombe. I belong here. I'm a son. And I'm humbled to minister to you. Thank you to Bishop in absentia and to the pastoral team for finding me worthy. Uh, amen. I love preaching. <laughs> I know there are people among you who love singing. Like Joy. Joy who loves singing. Me, I love, my singing is, is preaching. So I love it. Buenas, my son. I was preparing on a message called waiting. But as I continue to prepare, it changed to the day of God's visitation. Amen? Amen. And as you can see, I have a new shirt. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want you to miss that. And I have my members of my family, Pastor Kibera, I introduce a lot of people. Let me see whether I can challenge them. When you challenge Pastor Kibera. Hey, what, what, what? What, what, what? Sita hubiri mpaka, what? Asantini sana, mketi. Eh, wale? Sikuwa nimewabia, nita wasifanya wasimame. Kwa hivyo sita wabia wa wasalimie. But they are very important to me. By the way, if I fail in uh, that generation, hata nyinyi hamuta ni yamini sana, sidiyo? <laughs> hata biblia kuna pali, nasema, ukishido na nyuba yako. <laughs> kuna wakati wali nietea shida sana. <laughs> Nikaeda kwa mugu, nika muabia. Mugu ya ni ulinta, nikiwa pasta. <laughs> Sasa nikishidwa na hawa na umesema <laughs> nitawezaje kusimama mbele ya watu wako kuwapatia neno. Na Mungu ni mwema. Penye tulikuwa tunaenda hivi tukaanza kwenda haja. And you people, when I, my children were young, Bishop would always tell us, "Enjoy your babies and don't judge us." I didn't understand. By the way, now I understand. I have come to understand 15 years later. Na nyinyi mko na tutoto tudogo. Enjoy your babies and don't judge us. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mumesikia hiyo? Amsikie, mtakuja kusikia. <laughs> Vile na mimi nimekuja kusikia. Now, uh, God is in the business of visiting his people. Amen. I know God is always with us, but God also visits. Ni kweli? So in Genesis chapter 2, chapter 21 verse 1 to 3, eh uh, we find the, the word of God, Genesis 21, verse 1 to 3. And the Lord visited Sarah as he had said. And the Lord did for Sarah as he had spoken. Verse 2. And Sarah conceived and bore Abraham a son in his old age. Sorry. And, this, yeah. and Sarah conceived and bore Abraham a son in his old age at the set time of which God had spoken to him. Verse 3. And Abraham called the name of his son who was born to him, whom Sarah bore to him, Isaac, father in the name of Jesus. Once again, we welcome you. I pray that you may speak to us. Let me not speak, but may you speak to your people in the name of Jesus. I, I appreciate you, Lord, for this chance. I pray that you may talk to each and every one of us, that as we live here, we shall say, we have seen you in Jesus' name. Uh, give us verse one again. I have a few comments to make before we continue. And the Lord visited Sarah. I said God is always with us, but God does what? Visit. So he was always with Abraham and Sarah, but again we see him visiting Sarah, as he had said. So he had said something to Sarah. Hallelujah. How many people know that God has said something to you? You know the problem with you is, you think God is speaking only when the pastor is speaking. At times, God speaks to you and you think you are thinking. And it is not so. It is God speaking to you. Amen? Amen. Isodoto wakati mwingine unawacha zile za ugali. 
ni Mungu anakuzungumzia. Haleluya. So God speaks. He as he had spoken to to Sarah. Usitoe mpaka niseme utoe. And the Lord did for Sarah as he had spoken. Let me say this. God says what he means. And God means what he says. God is not like man. We are limited ourselves. We say things and sometimes we are not able to fulfill. Amen. I know we have promised the bishop that on the 30th, is it 30th or 29th? 30th. We know what we have written in that form. And I am praying for you that you will not just promise bishop. Arafu afurahi akiona Arafu ikifika hapana nakataa hiyo katika jina la Yesu. Kile tumeandika Tumeleta fomu na zingine tutaleta ndio tutafanya nini? Mungu atatupatia na jia zake miraki uras. Amen. Haleluya. Eh kile Mungu aliweka ndani yako hakikisha hicho. But what I'm trying to say is that as he had said, God is not limited. Whatever he has said to you, hata kama ni mtu wa Mungu alikuambia kitu. Can I tell you? God said to me in my youth, niliokoka nikiwa kijana hata ni seto Nairobi in one of the best places in Nairobi hata nimeiandika pahali bwana asifiwe na ninakwambia kutoka kwenye nilitoka mimi nikuja Nairobi sio kama nyinyi ni dahisi mlikuwa na relatives huku ama ulikuja college huku kwa wengine wetu ilikuwa ni muujiza so it looks something very big ni kama wewe sasa uabiwe utaseta Australia lakini imekuja kufanyika haleluya Because God says what he means. Hata kama ni mtu wa Mungu alisimama akasema wewe utaolewa. Na utapata watoto wazuri sana. Na sasa unaenda kugoga foti, umeanza kushtuka unashidwa kwani ni Mungu aliogea. Jana kulikuwa Saturday. Ile Saturday ingine nilikuwa udhoni ya mtu. Hmm? A lady, not a woman, a lady of 55 years. Around sijamuuliza sana lakini nikiapima hivi around 55 years na wewe unasema ati umezeheka wapi wewe kwanza yule ruth mnaona pale di alitoa hizo cards kama ninadanganya ulizeni ruth na mpasa anaweza danganya kweli <laughs> unaniangaliaje <laughs> unajua hata sasa ile is an answer <laughs> nisisemi posta nasema pasta pasta anaweza danganya So hujazeeka bora ukue na ile shauku. Unataka kujiona walking down the aisle, eh? Niligoja mseme nisiseme aiso. <laughs> <laughs> so, hakuna jambo Mungu hawezi. Akisema utaendesha Mercedes. Haleluya. Hata Mungu anaweza. So he did to Sarah as he had spoken. He will do to you and to me as he had as he had spoken because he has spoken something for you na ukwe mtu akusikiza mungu wewe na unaandika i always carry a notebook kako pale hata tukiwa katika worship ama maombi ama nikisikia mungu ananenea kitu ninaandika kwa sababu we are in the business of forgetting ourselves by the way do you know the bible says present ye strong reasons before god part of when we go to pray we go to remind god of the things he he promised so kama wewe mwenyewe hukubuki sasa utamremind nini are you able to represent strong reasons one of the strong reasons is when you remind him of his promises kama hujawahi kusikia akiongea venye ulisoma kwa biblia hiyo ni mungu aliongea how many people know that the bible is a letter from god to us so whatever you read in that letter haleluya when i was a young man in high school i was not born again and i would write girls letters <laughs> in in high school zingine <laughs> and that was me si ndio kile nilisema hata kama ingine ilikuwa na chumvi <laughs> ni mimi akisoma anajua ni mimi ni mimi sasa naye Mungu alituandikia nini barua amen so eh, turudishe verse 2 And, the, uh, and Sarah conceived and bore Abraham a son in his old age 
at the set time of which God had spoken. Say my set time. God will visit you at the set time. Wakati mwingine tunaona kama Mungu amekawia. Na kuambia ile ile furaha huyo dada wenye nilikuwa udhoni wake atafurahia aki walk down the <laughs> the aisle ni ile tu angesikia. I think it is even more. Si ndio? Akiwa 25. Si So at the set time of ukikula maembe ama machungwa ambayo ni bichi si si tamu si ndio it is not beautiful because it is not its time am i right so god will visit you at the set time as he did to to sarah and abraham called the name of his son that was born to him isaac isaac means laughter or one who laughs hallelujah i want to tell you that god put a laughter in you. Amen. Usijani. Jana nilienda kunywa mafuta, sio kunywa gari. Ni gari liko ina kunywa. Nikakuta iko juu nikaanza ku regret. I wish ninge just a tank. <laughs> Juzi sasa before fast. Hallelujah. Lakini hata mambo yakiendelea kuwa magumu, Mungu atatimiza na ataweka laughter. Na by the way msiongee hiyo maneno ya ya mambo mazito usiongee kama vile wanasiasa wanaongea kama Mungu anajua tunaweza tumia mafuta ya ya 200 wacha tuulize Mungu atuweke hiyo kiwango 200 ikuwe kama ile 100 vile tulikuwa tunaweka ya 100 na hatustuki tusistuke si ndio ukienda kwa hoteli ukuta kachai kamefika 100 na kalikuwa 50 usipiga makelele wewe kunywa tu there was a time i almost stood the waiter and anipugusie kwa sababu sikunywagi sukari <laughs> <laughs> Mimi sikunywi sukari nipuguzi. <laughs> Aya. Now we have finished with Sarah. I will not going to read Job chapter 10 but you can write down was Job 10 12 pia huyo alipata visitation of God and then Hosea 9 7 you you read this at home and first Peter chapter 2 verse 12. Can I say it again? Uh, Job 10:12 But acha tusome hiyo kwa sababu ameileta. You have granted me life and favor. And your care has preserved me. Another fashion says when you visited me you granted me life and and favor when God visited him. God granted him life and and favor. What am I saying? When the Lord will visit you he will grant you what? life and favor. and favor now first peter 2:12 it only speaks of the day of god's visitation i'm not going to read that but allow me to read luke 19 verse 1 to 42 and then 44 luke 19 verse 1 verse 41 now as he drew near he saw the city and wept this is jesus as jesus drew near he saw the city and wept over it let's go on saying if you had known even you especially in this your day the things that make for your peace but now they are hidden from your eyes verse 44 let's go to verse 44 and level you and your children within you to the ground and they will not leave no just let's start with from because you did not know the time of your visitation this is jerusalem or the people that were living in jerusalem like the way we are at shiloh hallelujah uh, I'll, i'll tell you later on or i told the hospitality team this morning as we were praying ah ama niwaambia nisisahau niliwaambia eh Where do I start now? By the grace of God, I'll be flying out in on Tuesday, Tuesday night. So the, we were praying together, and I was telling them how I want the department to. Munaelewa. So, halafu ni kawambi ya mungu akinyoesha mvua kwa neiba wako. Hata kwa kwa mifanya nini? Amenyoesha. Ni kawambi ya nani mukuwe na shauku na mupate passport. Kwa sababu hii grace ya kuflye. Sio tu kwangu na hata kwenu itakuwa aje Mnanielewa? Bwana asifiwe. No, why did I say that? <laughs> okay. 
uh, visitation. Because you do not know the time of, of your visitation. Now, Jesus was crying over Jerusalem. May God not cry over you. May the Holy Spirit not cry over us because of missing our day of visitation. What did I say? That God will come to you at the very time. At your very time. Not at my time. Amen? Amen. Ah, ulize na wa mama diya watajua vizuri zaidi. Hata waze. Mtoto wakizari wa miesi sita. Si mnajua ni nine months? Suppose that baby is born six months. At six months. Si kutakuwa na shida? True or false? Hata atawe kwa nasari? Na hata akiwe kwa nasari. Kabisa hata akitoka. Hata kuwa, kuna kuwanga na shida. Kuna jamaa alitusubua sana. <laughs> Mina rafiki yangu. Sasa huyu rafiki yangu naye, ameokoka lakini ni wale wako wanapenda mchezo <laughs> kidogo. Akiniambia kwa kikuyu, hii kile kiatigeti ya buremu. <laughs> Ati huyu <laughs> huyu alikuwa amebakiza nini? Mvua moja. <laughs> Unajua mahidi. <laughs> Ndiyo mahidi iko maye ni mvua. Kuna ile siso ni ya kupada. Si mnaelewa? <laughs> But my, I don't, I need to agree with him. Uja maa tu ni kutusubua. Siyati. Lakini. Nifanya <laughs> ni cheke nyingi. Ah. <laughs> But oh, I was talking about uh, six months old. Mnaelewa? The proper time for God is nine months. So for your nine months may not be the exact nine months, but God's time. Hallelujah. God will come to visit you at your very time. Because Isaac was given at the very time God had promised. Amen. Amen. Now, what do you need to do? Things you need to do for, for you to attract God's visitation. Allow me to say this. Hata kama umeandika things you need to do. You don't need to do anything. Only believe. Amen. One of my children was sick. And so I asked the doctor, what is the cause of this sickness? Because I have not seen it in my family. And the doctor answered back. She said, I can't tell you the cause, but I can tell you triggers. Okay? Okay? Tuko pamoja ama nimewatupa. Now I will tell you divine triggers that can trigger God's visitation. Amen. But I have just told you that you don't need to do anything. Only believe. So the points that I'm going to give you starting with the Revelation chapter 1 verse 10 is just they are just triggers. Give us Revelation 1:10. I have to manage my time well. I was in the spirit on the Lord's day. I think that's enough. I was in the spirit on on the Lord's day. Kindly be in the spirit. So my first point is being in the spirit. Amen. Being in the John was in the spirit on the Lord's day. And that's why he got the revelation. The book of Revelation ilipatikana pale. And the seven churches and Nasis in one of those churches because he was the, he was in the spirit on the lords they are we together we used to sing a song many years back in kikuyu and you could do hata yesu alikuwa anatumia mambo ya waisraeli unajua yesu alikuwa muyahudi so hata mimi nikitumia kikikuyu jamani msikwasike si hata tunakuaga na african sadi mnakwasika oh good now eh hii nyimbo ilikuwa inaenda hivi dethiaga dethine waroho gaoyaga dethine waroho gagoshaga dethine waroho tadoniwe moto goria wakwa i join ingisa kwa kwaya <laughs> now what am i saying being in the spirit Mambo mengi sana yatakufanyikia mazuri when you walk in the spirit. In fact, if God visits you and you are not in the spirit, you most likely miss the visitation. Yesu ataanza kulia kwako. Because you have missed like Jerusalem, they were not in the spirit. 
when their visitation had come wao walikuwa kwa mambo mengine mnaelewa kindly pursue to be in this not only during church not only during prayer times not only during cell times all the time all be in the spirit tune tune kuna radio <laughs> niliwekewa na makanika na siku hizi siipedi lakini iliwekwa nikiweka gari on lazima ianze kuongea ni ya kikristo lakini kuna mambo nililana nili ambayo si hayanipende sasa nataka ni badilisha niweke hope fm lakini imenishida kabisa so ukikuja kwa gari yangu ni kuwekea utasikia hiyo ya kikikuyu e, sasa what am i saying ile umetune ndio utasiki so tune to heaven fm all right being in the I'll, I'll tell you two instances that I was one in the spirit another one that I was not in the spirit unajua mimi ni binadamu unajua mtu akisimama hapa mnaona kama hata sisi bwana tuna run ukilan before I am a pastor ama mshirika by the way tukivika huko si mambo ya upasta nikupigania nini kama kuna ombi naombaga Mungu nisiwahi nisikamise heaven Afadhali mambo yengine yote niko. Lakini nisifanye nini? Nisimise heaven. Si mambo ya uchungaji. Uchungaji ni mzuri na uko na challenge zake. Lakini ya kwanza ni nini? Roho yangu. Sasa two instances. One I missed. Na wale wamenisikia mara nyingi wana wamesikia hii. Ah hata hata timu ya Riyabu akubusha watu. <laughs> Wacha niwakubushe. Mimi mtu alitoka huko Nairobi. Akakuja nyeri I was doing business. Si wakati simu zilitokea. Wacha hizi. Sule tudogo. Hakukuwa na mobile phones nyinyi mmezaliwa mmezikuta. Hakukuwa nazo. Tulikuwa tunatumia na si boma zote. Ni kwa ofisi tu ugekuta ile simu ya, ya telecom, ile ya, ya kaba. Mtu akakuja akaniambia niko na connection Dubai na muagiwa simu Nairobi for free. Nataka tukuje hii shop yako tuimwage. Wewe ndio utakuwa distributor hapa nyeri. Whatever I was doing in my shop I was doing relatively well. So badala ya kwenda kuoba nilimwambia no. I was also employed I was working for the government so I had a sales girl and a salesman. Nikaona nikiwaacha hizi simu na ni za wenyewe. I I argued by myself. Lakini because she was a sister in the Lord. Nika nikasikomwambia no. Nilimwambia sitaweza lakini nitakutafutia mtu. Nikamtafutia nini? Wacha nikwambie. In 8 months time, both of them were flying high in business. Hakuna mwenye yako na drive. <laughs> Nikakibia kwa yule dada, alirudi akakuja kanisa, alikuwa anafikiria uh, tunahubiri vizuri. So aka, aka, akakuja, akajoin, alihamia Nyeri pia akakuja kwa kanisa yetu. So bado ni dada. So nikaenda kwake, nikamwambia sasa nataka akaniambia wacha nikwambie ukweli. Hiyo hata maneno ilikuisha, sipewi tena Dubai, hata mimi simwagi yangi, sasa labda utafute pesa kama half a million nitakuconnect. Sasa half a million ingetoa wapi? Hiyo nilikosa. Because I was not in the spirit. Niwaambie ingine, hii time inakibia mamu sana. Sasa <laughs> Unajua mtu anakibiliaga mama yake. <laughs> Hata wewe ukikwaza unasikia unasema mami. <laughs> Sasa hata mimi waja niseme mami. <laughs> Kwa sababu kuangalia hivi naona dakika tano zimeaguka. Nao, ya pili nilikuwa mtu mzuri. Sasa hiyo nilikuwa nimeokoka vizuri. Nikapada matatu kutoka Nyeri. Nilikuwa nakuja Nairobi kununua vitu. Tulikuwa natoka Nyeri saa tisa ndio tukute jam ime. Tukute tupite hapa. Kwanza hapa kwenu kulikuwa na jam sana kama hakuna jam imekwisha ah sorry haijaanza by 6 tu tume cross tumefika pangani hatutapatwa na jam otherwise tungepatwa nayo hapa Roisabu tutafika na Nairobi saa tatu. na tulitaka turudi Nyeri na tuuze hizo vitu so mimi nilikuwa kiti ya nyuma ya driver kwa zile nisa na mnajua tulikuwa siku hizo tunasukumana wale walikuwa pale bele mmoja akatokea karatina alipotokea karatina nikaamua sasa na mimi niende hapo hapo bele angekubaliwa na polisi wa wabebebe sana so palikuanga ni pazuri 
nikaenda ni pande pale driver ni smoka na yule amebaki pale ni smoka na walijua mimi ni mtu wa Mungu so wakanikataza wakasema hautaingia kuna mtu tunaenda kuchukua sagana na tumemwekea hii kiti sasa hiyo tuko kwa mafuta nikawaambia nitaingia wakaniambia hautaingia nikashika mlango sasa driver naye si mnajua vile gari inafanywa sasa na mimi ninasema nitaingia nitakaa hapa mtajua mimi ni mwanaume nilipowaambia hivyo nikasikia sauti ujue wewe si mwanaume nika si nimeingia ndani ya roho sasa sasa nikajikuja unajua mbwa vile <laughs> nikarudi lakini kwa hasira si kurudi hii kiti nimetoka hii nimetoka sasa sitaki ukaribiana na wao wamenikosea ingawa nimesikia sauti nikarudi ya pili kutoka nyuma na nikakaa kumbe Mungu alinipeleka kwa Wakristo na ujichunge sana ukiwa kwa matatu ujui nani mko naye sasa tukakaa tu na tukakuja kumbe ni Mungu alikuwa anani save kufika hapa hapa juja hii dhika road ilikuwa inajengwa siku hizo tukakutana na roli imetoka kwa bushi imebeba mawe gari yetu imeenda 100 km per hour nayo roli ndio hii imekataa break tukalimana sisi ndio hawapa nakwambia kila mtu kwa hiyo matatu except us in that second seat from behind sisi ndio tulikuwa tunaokoa wale wengine makanga mwenyewe alikuanga pale ile kiti nilitoka sijui kama alipagawa ama ni nini alishi eh, hakupigewa sana alishika simu akapigia mwenye gari akasema kila mtu ame gari imekuwa na accident baya na kila mtu amekufa sasa mimi nikajiuliza kwani huyu anaongea akiwa heaven? <laughs> to cut the whole story short, I was in the spirit on the Lord's day. Tell your neighbor, be in the spirit. Be in the spirit. Point number two. Inaitwa holiness. Divine triggers. Remember they are just triggers to God's visitation. Without holiness, no one shall see God. That is Hebrews. And it is not just in heaven. No one shall see God in heaven and on earth. By the way, let me tell you. One time Jesus himself, the son of God, alikuwa amebeba dhabi za za ulimwengu wote. Paka Mungu akaangalia upande mwingine. Na Yesu akalia akauliza, "Lama Eli Eloi Eloi lama sabakdhani my god my god have, why have you forsaken me it was not forsaking it is the sins he was carrying all right that's why god looked the other i'm trying to tell you when we don't walk in holiness we will miss his visitation amen, amen. hallelujah amen. so let us live in in holiness na utajaribiwa mimi nimewahi kujaribiwa. Na tunaendelea kujaribiwa. Haleluya. And because of time. Acha <laughs> niseme hivi before I go to the third point. It is not salvation but holiness that will take us to heaven. Si tumeokoka? Lakini sio wokovu. Kuna wimbo pia tuliiba. Kule shia na shia oda maki igadhine kanioko. Kuna watoto wa ufalme watatupa wapi? Ni mfalme hata jina yao iko katika kitabu cha uzima lakini watawekwa wapi so it is not salvation it is it is holiness amen otherwise if you are not living in holiness Mungu akikuja kukutebelea anakuta wewe ni mteja unasikia anakuta wewe ni ni mteja hakupati kwa sababu udhabi zimekuzi ziba hakuoni anakuja time hii visitation ikifika ataku lakini hautakuwa wako dhabi hizo zinaonekana na usipende kuwa mteja ama businessman there was a time i missed a business deal i need to call Beatrice thank you pastor Beatrice <laughs> had come all the way from Rwanda to give me work na tulikuwa tumekubaliana kwa simu akuje ilikuwa inaniletea kama 50000 yo yo kadil lakini alipofika hapa nilikuwa mteja for two days ilibidi aipeane 
hiyo kazi sasa nilipoasha simu kakuta vile amenitafuta na kuniadikia message kujaribu kumpigia ni kwambie ukweli alikuwa hata amekasirika na mimi kasema hiyo kazi nilipeana kwa sababu ulikuwa mteja na ni kweli so i did not only miss that job i also missed the the friendship and maybe job zingine mwenye alienda kumfanyia labda sasa waliendelea naye are you getting my point kuwa mteja number three, divine triggers inaitwa call call there's a song it's also in english but in kikuyu it sounds the very good ile utotera gane kikumwaleria kaigema mnaelewa hapo kwa nini tunakosa kumuongelesha mara nyingi zaidi wacheni niwaambie tukifika biguni biblia inasema kuna machozi tutapaguswa machozi ingine tutapaguswa ni kuona mambo yalikuwa yetu na hatukujua tunataabika hapa ulimwengu ni kwa sababu hatuitani hatuulizi you do not call do you know you are answer is just a call away yule dada ninawaambia nilienda udhani yake alikuwa tunakutana ananiuliza pasta bado unaendelea kuniobea na unajua pasta ni wabia hawadaganye <laughs> so mimi imani yangu kusema kweli <laughs> unajua mimi ni binadamu sasa nainama lakini namwambia tutaomba kabisa <laughs> sitaki kujibu ni sema nimesahau wana asiwe sana lakini yeye alishikilia na alienda kuendelea kuomba in actual fact katika hiyo udhoni kuna yule pasta alituhubiria alisema yeye aliendelea kumuombea kwa sababu alijua huyu lazima ataoleka na Mungu akamzungumzia huyo sasa mwenye alituhubiria Mungu akamwambia huyu ataolewa na ataolewa na mchungaji so when she was speaking to us she gave us that testimony i saw this three years ago and i told my friend but she didn't believe me wana hizo asifiwe call nini inakuzuia ku call niulize nini hadi kazi mingi by the way ukiwa na kazi mingi ndio unastahili ku call zaidi amen i don't leave my bed i don't leave my bedroom without talking to god i don't start talking to wewe nipigie simu mimi kama sijaoba unipigie nikishaoba nataka the first person to talk to akue nani before i talk to you people Haleluya. Ama nimewapeleka baya sana. Haya, wacha nirudi nyumbani. <laughs> Amen. And when you call, allow me to say this. When you call, God sends you help from your bank of three things. Number one, prayers. Number two, giving. Number three, good works that you do to others. Amen. If you have none of this in your bank, your spiritual bank eh? or your heavenly bank, then it's very hard to get quick help from heaven. You must practice these three things frequently if you want to get quick help in your day of trouble. Amen. Your bank of prayers, giving and doing good works. Hawa nimewaambia hospitality team Eh, kuna siku hapa hatukuwa na mgeni hata mmoja. Can you remember? Unakumbuka? Watu wa Shaira munijibu. Eh, sasa lazima tukitoka nje. Na tulienda tu na tulikunywa kachai. <laughs> But hakakuwa na utamu. Naelewa? Hakakuwa na na mnajua ni kwa nini. So tukasema we have a heart to heart talk. Tu, tu, tuulizane ni nini? One of the things, unajua katika maongezi hapo ndio Mungu anapatikana tukaona sisi kama department hatujakuwa tu hatujakuwa tukiinvite watu ya kutosha chachi. so tukasema hata tukiambia kanisa wa invite watu sisi tukuwe ndio wa kwanza na tukaambiana lazima tu Mungu ndiye atawaleta lakini sisi tutawai wa invite amen another thing tulisema ni kirudi tutakuwa na occasion one saturday or saturday afternoon tukaambiana nguo yote yenye hatujavaa for three months si yetu tena tuzilete zote kanisani to identify just a place around us wenye wanakuwa wanazihitaji bwana asiwe sana na hata this morning as you we are praying nikawakubusha nikawaambia kwa sababu nahubiri nitawaomba na nyinyi kanisa kama kuna nguo 
Unajua kuna wengine mmejaza ma wardrobes paka Mungu hana pahali ya kukuo. Anakuongeza uweke wapi? Miezi mitatu hujaiva hiyo si yako. Hiyo iko na mwingi. Ama watoto wako wali outgrow hiyo. Sasa inafanya nini kwako? At sentimental value. Haka kalitoka US. Ukaonange tu. Kuna mtu anapata baridi juu ya hiyo. Hiyo kasweta si yako tena. Haleluya. So tuleteni tafadhali. Dorcas simama. Sitasimamisha kila mtu. Huyu Dorcas ndiye kiongozi wetu hapa. Tafadhali mumusubue. Sawa? Mumusubue. Nikikuja hapa nikute mingi kabisa lakini uoshe. Usirete ikiwa chafu na usirete tatad. Sasa tunaenda kupeana alafu unatuletea tatad. Na kama we ni mwanaume ukapige pasi hiyo kasuti. E, lakini pasi si lazima. Lakini hiyo mambo mengine. Ni sawa? Haleluya. Na ukitaka ujoni na sisi si, si una, tunataka kufanya good works. Do you know Hezekiah alienda kwa Mungu kumkubusha mambo yenye alifanya? Wewe utamkubusha nini in your day of trouble? By the way there is another day. Nikipewa nafasi nyingine nitawaambia about a day of trouble. Na ni kwa kila mtu pede usipede lazima tupitie whether you are born again or holy spirit filled or whatever as long as you are in this world there is a day of trouble na inaweza kuwa si siku moja unasikia what shall you remind god hezekiah reminded god of the things he had done so do something not only join with us but do something even in your neighborhood do something in church do something do something in your place of work help somebody You are not created to receive you are created to give out. Let the world be better because you are born. Waje tukumiz siku hauta kwako. Na hiyo ni mimi najiuliza mtanimiz sasa ama Ama hata hamtajua nimeenda. Unajua nikiwahubiria hata mimi najihubiria. Haya, tuendelee. Lakini wana youth asantini sana. Wana youth Mungu awabariki. Kama kuna watu wanatusaidia hapa hii kanisa ku grow. Unajua I'm in the hospital department. I see people coming into the church. Saa hizi first service iko na wageni wengi kushinda second service. Hapa hapa shahidi. No, kule ni different. Lakini hapa. So wana youth muendelee na muendelee na hiyo moyo. Ni moyo mzuri. Lakini pahali mmetuangusha kidogo. Wakati tunaenda witnessing only one Sunday in a month. Mkuje. Tunajipatanga ni wazee. Sasa tukienda kukuta watu wa rika yenu wanafikiria kanisa ni ya wazee so wanatuambia i am not yet <laughs> so tafadhali kujeni ni next sunday we mnasikia tafadhali igewe kwa hii Nye, uh, sawa tu sasa ni next sunday please come come do s- wewe hata kama hujui kuhubiri kuja tutakupatia na mtu anajua kuhubiri wewe kazi yako ni kusimama tu hapo na una smile of course <laughs> ndio wajue church ni pali pazuri <laughs> sawa kuja tu tafadhali hata wana wa na inaishanga haraka wana wa tunaongea na watu kama watatu ama wanne because we engage them we want we don't just bombard them with the gospel we want to hear why they don't come to church so we talk it's just see you are, you are in business the way you just talk to people is the way we we go there we just market sometimes even we go to ma na utoe nini mingi watu hawa watakuja sana the brochure zikwe five times the number we, we use mtakuja kwanza nitafurahi sana when you come in my absence nijue niko represented vizuri i enjoy it a lot by the way let me tell you this it's not in my notes niwaambie kana katoto kana sikianga babake nako kakitaka kitu kana peangwa rahi ni kweli tuko hapa ulimwengu kwenu hata mamake kale katoto kana kusikianga rahisi nako inakuanga rahisi kufanya nini lakini kale kangumu sasa na nyinyi wewe ni kale kangumu ama ni kale karahisi kuja kuja tu utakuja haya asantini <laughs> nao number 4 is <laughs> number four. inaitwa prepare na nikitafika pahali nitaanza kusoma tu bila kuongea So that I save on your time. Unajua some of the wives here the husbands are not here. And we want to take care of those husbands. We want, we need them. Chairman anataka wanaume wengi. Sasa for us to get them, tunafanya nini? Tuna take care of those wives that are here, wakimbie haraka. Alafu sasa yule mwanaume atapeda kanisa, si ndio? Kuna churches zingine town sipendi. Naonanga kama they do the opposite. Yeah, what? Because wanaweka maspi 
Unamesikia? Masbia makubwa tena wanaweka kuadilisha. Sasa na shida huyu pasa anahubiri ama ana anu. Unajua huyu kanandu. Unazuia mtu kufanya biashara juu hawaelewani. <laughs> Haya, number four is prepare. Prepare. If you want God's visitation you do what? You prepare. You also prepare for for visitors, do you? Eh, hey, enda kwa ile room, tutakuta vile bishop ametusaidia ku prepare. Iko smart, hujaenda kwa muda. We, siku hizi tuko class nyingine, hata huko chini. Utakuja hutaamini. Ulitukuta kwa tustul. Aha, tuko bere. We prepare for visitors. So prepare for God. Do you know we are created in the image of God? And likeness of of God. Recently we had the people that had joined us Asante sana media team. <laughs> Nimefurahi. <laughs> Unajua mimi ndiye mwanzilishi wa media team. Mimi mnaona hapa. Hawajui? Eh, mimi. Hao jamaa wagejua pia wagekuwa nanimulika sana. <laughs> Pahali niko na nitafuta. <laughs> Kama vile tunatafutaga muhiki. <laughs> Lakini kuna kaka kitu amenifanya kazuri. <laughs> Wewe walisikia nimeteta nimeteta kwa mama. Wamesikia vizuri. So we, we prepare for God to visit us. Now when we met the people that had joined us in the last six months, eh, Bishop refused to pray for anybody without a passport. Ali, kuna dada alikuja kwa imani akasema Bishop niko na passport na nataka kwenda US. Na nina, mimi nimekuja nataka uniobe. Nime sikia imani yangu na yako. So hiyo ikaleta watu wengi ambao walipokuja mbele akasema nani yako na passport? <coughs> Kujeni hapa. Wengine rudini. Akwaombea. Do you know why? Sema preparation. They were not ready. Mnaelewa? You are not ready. You are not ready to have a car if you don't have a driving license. Are you? hata mimi siwezi kukuobea unajua mimi ni mtoto wa bishop siwezi kukuobea gari so preparation is key amen preparation is very vital the difference between the doctor the nurse and the subordinate staff is preparation when they were in school one prepared well am i right and became a, a doctor another one prepared not very well she became a nurse or he became a nurse na kama uko nurse tafadhali unisamehe <laughs> Kuna watu walipenda kuwa nurse. I don't believe to nursing. Na nursing siku hizi inalipa. Hapa Kenya hata hata ngambo the best paid workers are not doctors. They are nurses. So I'm not belittling you. Lakini watatu haku prepare at all. Yeye kama amejiriwa kwa hospitali ni kufanya nini? Sema kufagia. Na kuosha hizo mashit. Na hizo mashit hazikuwagi mzuri. Eh? Sema preparation. If you want God's visitation do what? prepare because preparation is key failing to prepare is preparing to fail you have heard that amen you number four. number five. celebrate <clears throat> there are two kinds of celebration i have number one, celebrate small victories when god heals you of homa mnaona homa na siku hizi homa ya siku hizi sijui imekuaje sio ile ya zamani ya makamasi iko kali si ndio lakini mungu akikuponya homa u celebrate sasawa ukipata hata kama umepata shilingi moja na ulitaka elfu moja do what celebrate hiyo ita hiyo ita trigger Mungu kukuletea nyingi zaidi ni kweli hebu niwaulize ukweli kuna mtu niseme ya niseme ah sitasema jina lakini kuna mtu aliniomba fedha na sikuwa na pesa i don't know how much he expected from me nikamtumia giri moja hata hata ka SMS ya shilingi moja kuniambia asante haku have you ever experienced such people now do you think nitaguswa sana next time kumtumia hata 2000 kwa nini he did not celebrate ni kweli so celebrate small victories even the day of small beginnings wewe unataka kuwa pastor wacha kungangania hii madhabahu hii madhabahu ni ya bishop by the way sisi ni kupewa tunape? Tunapewa. Kama hujapewa, bado wewe ni mzuri. Penye umepandwa, blossom there. 
hiyo ndiyo itakuleta hapa. Ni kweli ama si kweli? Amen. So prepare. Oh, sorry. Celebrate. Small victories. Number two, celebrate those ahead of you. Sisi wenye tunapewa madhabahu hapa, tu celebrate. Sema amen. Amen. Wa, sio sasa. <laughs> Nasema us, tukihubiri unasema unafurahia ya kwamba tunahubi hata kama upendi vile tun I know I have kikuyu accent myself naenda America na jaribu kutwang lakini ule ukikuyu bado uko oh my god so celebrate others wacha kuona mtu na kigari kizuri useme ati waliiba hao ndio wametuibia waliiba wapi bwana Bless them. Amen. Mwambie Mungu awabariki na uwazidishe. Wakiinuliwa sasa watoke kwa hiyo waende juu wewe na wewe unafika hapo. Amen. Ukisikia hata nahubiri na sihubiri vile ugepeda, ni obe. Nitainuliwa zaidi. Amen. By the way today was my <laughs> Leo nilikuwa na pahali tatu. Watu tatu. Actually four. People that had wanted me to preach in their churches lakini nikaangalia nikaona mimi ni mto hii hata ndio ilikuja last <laughs> pastor skol came last but ndio nilichukua haya wengine nikawaambia nitakuja lakini baadaye bwana yesu asifiwe so what what's my point celebrate others wale wale wame graduate wa celebrate amen wale wako mbele yako wafanye nini celebrate and pray for them think good of them talk good of them wenye mlivotia opposition tafadhali bless this government pray for this government wacha kusema mabaya hii serikali hautasaidika katika muhula wa serikali hii ukiendelea kuogea mabaya am i right hautasaidika wacha ni, let me come home mimi ni pastor niendelee kuogea mabaya bishop will i prosper in this church hata kama ni pastor wa, wa miaka mingapi hapana I pray for them. I pray for him. I pray for the pastors. I pray for you people. Amen. Hallelujah. That's how to to to, to trigger number f- that's number 5. Number 6. Ah, tamaliza. Number 6. Inaitwa take it easy. Take it. It is not the end of the world. It is not a matter of life and death. Nikwambie. Wale wa dada ambao hamjaoleka. Ninapenda doa ndio mnasikianga nikiongea mambo mengi kwa hii kuhusu doa. But marriage is not is it heaven really? Is it? There are people that are married and you are happier than them. <laughs> Wacha niseme hii ambayo si mzuri sana. So eh, it is not a matter of life and death. Ikikuja ni sawa na itakuja. Lakini as you wait for it furahia maisha yako. Am I right? Let me tell you how I do it myself. Ninaiandika ninajiabianga. I deal with myself using the head, but I deal with others through the heart. Watu wananijua mimi mpole, lakini when I'm dealing with myself, natumia nini? I am not soft. So I call it T I E S. You know that what that means? Take it easy, stupid. Not you, not you. Dedan. Sema pastor Dedan. <laughs> Now take it easy, stupid. What do you know, do you know what that means? If I don't take it easy, I am stupid. If you want to copy me, the better. So me hata mambo mbaya yakifanyikia, yakinifanyikia, huwa najua Mungu amekubalia yanifanyiki. So I take it easy. I don't sweat the small stuff. Mimi hapana. Kuna wakati mtoto wangu mmoja alikuwa mgojwa alikuwa inanisubua kidogo thank you mom mom has really stood with me she has anyway i don't want unajua kuongea kwetu hatuongeagi sana mambo ya mtu akisikia lakini asante sana kwa yote nashukuru but something happened in shakahora do you know what happened nikajua kuna wazazi wamepotesa nani never ever to see them again Amerite. Na wengine kuna mmoja hata alikuwa yeye hostess. 
si watu hivi hivi nataka kusema ni wazazi walipoteza never to see them again hata mwili wao hawatauzika labda sababu hata haitajulikana so compare now somebody ati mtoto wake yako sick hospitali na mwingine can you see the stupidity mnaona where i'm coming from ah kadauka huru <laughs> ama nimewashitua inafanyikaga mambo hufanyika amen so t i e s like that's for me it came from the word kiss we used to tell each other during our young years in ministry kiss k i w s at as you preach keep it simple stupid <laughs> keep it simple stupid that is if you don't keep it simple you are lakini sio wengine unasikia ni mimi haleluya can i go to the last point but before i go to the last point others are undergoing more difficult times hiyo kitu unafikiria kinakusumbua somebody else is going through a more difficult time number 7 and the last one hallelujah give thanks gratitude it a gratitude hana got five more children after she gave birth to samuel after she gave back samuel to the church and god is like us he loves it when we appreciate him amen learn to give thanks learn to learn to give thanks sitaki kusema mengi kuhusu giving thanks tumehubiriwa hiyo sana kushukuru ukwe mtu wa kushukuru shukuru mungu shukuru watu wengine shukuru hata familia even your spouse by the way tunakaanga unazoea your spouse I personally don't. Na nikisikia kama acha nisiende sana hiyo direction. But celebrate your spouse. Hata kama he doesn't provide. Kuwa na mume kwa nyumba ni kitu. Acha niwaambie ukweli. Mtu anaguruma. Ah <laughs> watoto hata kusubua sana kukiwa na sauti ya bass. Hata kama ha provide ni wewe una provide. I have a sister and I like her. May God bless her. She was working her husband was not working. Ange chukua msha na sisi mfanya hivyo. Anauleta wote kwa husband wake, alafu anaanza kuoba. That is thinking of another level. Wewe huwezi najua hivyo. <laughs> oh my god, what have we been saying in simple words? Number one, we have said what? Nitauliza watu wawili watatu ndio nimalize. I'm a teacher of the word. So nataka nisikie kama watu wamesikia ama watu hawajasikia. Na asante sana. Nyinyi ni watu wazuri by the way. Nikienda nikienda kule ngambo naheshimika sana. Juu yenu tu. Si ati ubo. Si mnaona I'm not very handsome. <laughs> Lakini Monica thinks I'm the most handsome man in the world. Ati alitafuta ulimwangu wote akakosa. Kuna jamaa handsome, tall, tall dark and <laughs> I have missed all of those. <laughs> What have we been saying in the simple words? Somebody tell me. Na sio hapa bele, si hapa bele, nataka kuanza huko nyuma. Eh, inua mkono. Wapi? Eh, sema my brother. Call unto God. Thank you. Mwingine? Yes, sister. Be in, walk in there. Ukisahau unaimba hiyo wimbo nilisema. Mnakumbuka hiyo wimbo? Yes, nimeona mkono. Nancy. Kama Worry. Holiness, good. Nimesikia worryness. Ambayo pia ni ukweli. Yes, brother. Celebrate others and you'll also be celebrated. What you give unto others shall be given unto unto you. Asante sana. Mume Peter. Na mume Peter na A. Lakini ni A minus. Ukitaka kuifanya A go and do. Let's sing our song. Eh inanzaje? Mama hamujui. Oh the time. No 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 no. Eh application. Ah good. I almost forgot it. Application makes all the difference all the time. Let's say it again. Application makes all the difference all the time. If you want to make it an A, you do what? Application.
May the Lord bless you.